In this video, we will try the new spell Obscurus in a 1v1 duel. This is just a guideline. You can adjust the deck as you wish. Start with Snape's Echo. Some of you may not know, but Obscurus damage is counted based on normal attack damage, which means Kevin's buff can boost its damage, while Phoenix will recover you from the critical red damage you may have taken after using Obscurus. You can use this spell to prevent some dangerous hits, like Whizbang, Avada, or other spells. What you should remember is that the six hits of Obscurus are random, which may cause you more trouble killing units than attacking the spellcaster themselves. All right, here goes nothing. Atmosphere charm. A pack all its fixes. A few. Now you're in trouble. Not enough. My, my, level 18 opalize. Such a huge gap between my opponent and me. Never mind. Let's dance. Fantastic form. Every time you decide to use this spell, you must make sure that when you come back to the previous point, it will not cause a huge loss by units. It can be said that this spell does not belong in the hands of newbies. Inflate. For Hermione's deck, you can play it with Whiz Bang, but we will use Thunderstorm instead. Once again, Whale is the opponent, which you can notice just by the Night Manor costume. You can try using a punyo or inflatus with obscurus, but as you see, the opponent starts to counter back when you fall back and get debuffed with thunderstorm. So, Ron is our lightning rod to share our pains. Oh, this isn't what the book said. Atmosphere charge. In 
At this point, he has already used massive spells, which means there is no problem for us to strike back. The third is Bellatrix. With Obscurus, you can use it to spawn Death Eaters in the opponent's area while doing damage. This method is likely when you use Broomstick anyway. As usual when you face a thunderstorm, units can be our meat shields, while Niffa can be used to lure atmospheric charms. For a summary of is this card worth pulling, well, it accords with your decision and your use of Echo. Since Obscurus has strengths and weaknesses like other spells, your skill play is more important. But for us, we will give this card 7 out of 10. I hope this video was helpful and inspired you. If you think so, please like, subscribe and share to Move Tovation for the next video. Thanks for watching.